What's up, everybody? It's Wolf. How y'all doing? We're back with some more Legends of Inari content. We're going to be talking about the one-year anniversary event, the Avatar system, and the grid system. So let's get into it. The one-year anniversary event will begin December 23rd, 2022, and will run for two weeks. The event will be slightly different from the past events as there are no event-specific baits, but there are event-exclusive spawns. This will be locked behind an event-exclusive quest line. As you complete the quest line, you will unlock those event spawns and be able to spawn them with normal baits. The final prize in the quest line is actually quite worthwhile, and all seekers who finish the quest line will have an interaction with Golden Nairi. These are able to be serialized, so the faster you get through the quest line, the better chance you have at getting a serialized Golden Nairi. I'm super excited to do the quest and get the rewards. I'm going to try my best to finish as fast as I can while enjoying myself, right? No need to rush, but... Yeah, I don't know. I've been playing not the whole year. I started playing in February, and I've enjoyed the game quite a bit. I've had a few periods where I didn't play for a week or two at a time, um, in between events and things of those nature. Sometimes life gets hectic, but uh, I don't know. The game has constantly been changing for the better. The team is always putting out updates, listening to the community, and taking our feedback into consideration while putting out these updates. The partnered events have been insane. The addition of quest lines to the game has enhanced the game quite a bit and makes it more fun to play because it gives me something to do for my little ADD brain. I'm not just setting a bait, waiting, and then interacting with the Venari and then having to wait again. I think that is probably the biggest pain point for me is the patience that is required to play the game. Um, I think I am most excited for the grid, obviously. That will be happening in a few weeks now. Um, but I think the grid has potential to bring in PvE and PvP, and I believe that will enhance the game quite a bit and draw more people into the game. So I'm super excited to see where the game is going to go and how it's going to grow and the other things the team is going to implement that we are all not aware of. So let's get into talking about the Avatar system. The Avatar system is set to go live January 6th, 2023. There will be a migration from the current NFT pass system. So rather than a simple tiered pass system that we have now of gilded, alpha, and base passes, players will now be able to have an avatar that is the equivalent of the current rarity of their NFT that has special traits linked to it. They will be 2D and you will have the option to do cosmetic rerolls to make the avatar more personal to your liking. The traits are as follows, backgrounds, glows, skin tone, eyebrows, eyes, hair, mouth, lips, and clothing. So some of these traits are limited and exclusive to the new account tiering system. That system is as follows. You have base, which are your existing free-to-play and demo players. You have your chosen, which are your existing base players. Your exalted, which are your existing alpha players. And your vocari, which are your existing vocari or gilded pass holders. So during the migration, all of those will be guaranteed a one-time trait in each of their respective levels. So Chosen will have one time guaranteed Chosen, Exalted one time guaranteed Exalted, Vokari one time guaranteed Vokari. The rest will be random. I'm not sure at which level, if they're base or if they're thrown in all of the pools, but from my understanding, the Vokari leveling is only available to Vokari and Exalted is only available to Exalted and Chosen is available to all and base is available to all because when you're doing your rerolls you have the ability to choose the level of reroll that you are doing and you can obtain the cosmetic rerolls on the black market for 15 shards or through a blessed monthly quest line that we will be seeing in the future during the reroll process players have an option to lock traits they wish to keep, incurring an additional one shard cost per each trait locked, after which you can then choose the level of reroll you wish to do. The levels are base reroll, that's available to all players, and only rerolls the base trait pool, and that is free to use. You have your chosen reroll, which is available to all players, and that rerolls from the base and chosen pool and costs five shards. You have your exalted reroll, which is available to exalted or higher players, and that rerolls from the base, chosen, and exalted pools, which costs 15 shards. You have your Vokari reroll, which is only available to Vokari members. The reroll is from the base, chosen, exalted, and Vokari pool, and that costs 35 shards. So there's a bit of a cost associated with the reroll, which is reasonable, and it also introduces 
introduces a shard sync, so good for the economy. Um, the odds for the cosmetic rerolling and rarity assignments will be available in the patch notes provided by the Legends of Inari team. And I think this is awesome because it allows the free-to-play accounts and demo pass players a in-game method to upgrade their account status, right? They'll be able to upgrade from a free-to-play or demo account um, to a fully chosen avatar by going through the rerolls, right? And as they go through that, they'll be able to progress to that level. Unfortunately, players that hold a alpha or gilded pass currently, um, which will transfer to Exalted or Volcari. You will not be able to upgrade Volcari, obviously, as they are the highest level, but Exalted, you will not be able to upgrade to a Volcari level as those are linked to the initial NFTs that were spawned by the team during the Mint. So, that's unfortunate, but it makes sense. So, once that is complete and they have the avatars pushed out to all of the users. There will be a phase two introducing a 3D avatar and NFT account linking. So currently your account is linked to an email which limits the ability of trading the account and all of the assets in the account. Um, by tying the account to an email and or a, a wallet, you would have to trade the email and or the wallet and or both. And there's a little bit of a trust factor involved. And in this market, nobody trusts anybody. And I mean, in the world, it's hard to trust anybody as it is. So the team solution is to tie the account to the NFT avatar itself. Some games kind of already do this for verification. And in a way, Legends of Inari does this as well, but uh, they do it with an additional layer of requiring an email. Um, there's a lot of games in the space that do that, right? They require the email and then the uh, NFT in your wallet and your wallet to be linked to your account that has the email linked but by linking the the avatar to the nft you lock the avatar the venari and all the other in-game assets to the nft itself so that you can essentially sell off that nft when you're done playing the game or if you want to level those up and then sell them as uh, like a side hustle you could do that as well but um, I think it's a little bit bittersweet because you can't just sell certain parts of the account, but it also helps because the, the economy becomes more of an in-game economy and it's not token-based and so much based around gaining real life currency so i think that's good for the game overall but essentially this provides a little bit of value to all of your venari caught your items your xp everything that you've done in game becomes of value so instead of it being a low level nft so say you bought the nft for a, a cheaper the nft avatar for a lower eth price you could do the grinding catch the venari get the exclusive unlocks etc have the account have more value and then sell the account away as an nft not have to get rid of your wallet not have to sell out your email or change the email to the other person's and have a level of trust involved right so i think that will enhance the game a little bit the NFT account linking is not a requirement at this time and should be optional, but that is subject to change depending on how the team wants to move forward with their game. Let's go ahead and take a sneak peek at the grid gameplay. Phase 1 of the grid is set to go live beginning Q1 2023 with no date set at this time. With the grid, we will have a new world to explore. Rather than placing baits and waiting for spawns, the game is going to become a little bit more interactive. We're going to be exploring a shared environment not visible to each other and competing for the same Venari spawns and attempting to tame those Venari. You will travel with partner Venari, each with a specific role within the exploration and interaction with Venari on the grid. You will have a scout, presumably used to check bushes and areas out of Seeker's visual range, a ward, which will probably play a defensive role for protection during Venari interactions and from Venari attacks while exploring the grid. You will have an action Venari, which will presumably be your main Venari while interacting with wild Venari on the grid, which will be used for attacking and defensive purposes. The current gameplay loop will turn into an auto battle style interaction, so rather than than going in and doing your feed fight and plays you're going to have set actions that your venari do and those will be done automatically for you i've not seen this per se other than the clips that i have here and i'm interested to see how it's going to work and what it'll look like for all of us um, the team obviously has other things that they're going to be introducing into the grid we have the black market and other things that are unknown at this time um, there's a lot of things i'm sure they've not introduced to us to keep as a secret um, and a surprise, so I'm excited to see what is going to happen. Phase 2 of the grid is set to happen in Q2 of 2023, and that will introduce raids, 
territory and free to play onboarding, not requiring an NFT for access to the game. So obviously with territory, how is that going to work? We're going to have player and guild territory more than likely. Um, I mean, there's solo players, so people like myself, um, how is it going to fare for us to claim territory? Are we going to be able to claim territory? Are we going to be forced into joining a guild? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm interested to see. Uh, the raids is going to be awesome. Obviously, I think from a, uh, a perspective of Web3 and the way this game works, it's a very community-driven game. Um, so raiding, obviously, in your, your traditional MMORPG games, you normally need a group of people to do the raids. So joining a guild is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not opposed to it. Don't, don't get me wrong here. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how the game fares for solo players and how it fares for guilds and those who have groups right i guess you don't even necessarily need a group like can we can we accomplish things with a group of four to five people um do, can i get my kid and my wife to play with me and accomplish these things in game i'm excited to see where the game is going to go i mean i'm glad for what it has turned into and has grown into over the last year there has been a lot of changes i've not played the full year like i said earlier i've only been playing for about 10 to 11 months now with a few spurts of inactivity just due to busy life and um that's really it we have the one year event on the 23rd we have avatar system coming january 6th and then we have the grid phase one set to go live q1 of 2023 presumably the end of january beginning february if i had to assume assumptions are bad but based on the team's timeline and the way that events and things have been happening it might come out that way i know there is a winter event that is supposed to happen as well so maybe that will fall in between before the grid comes out pushing the grid out to february keeping us entertained through january i'm not really sure it depends on the development development takes time coding is hard things happen uh it, it that's just how computers go so i'm excited to see what's going to happen hopefully you all are too if you have questions comments concerns throw them down below i will try to answer them and get answers from the team as i can but with this video, I want to give away a base pass. 100% earnings going to you until I can transfer the pass to you in-game because we currently cannot do that. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video, comment down below something you learned, your Discord username, and then follow myself and Legends of Inari on Twitter. Peace.